I was doing a show recently and somebody says right in the middle of the show, hey, when you're done with that trick, can you do a trick for this guy? And I thought, it's a weird thing to say because I'm doing magic for everybody. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, 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 you don't understand. This gentleman's blind. And I thought, whoa, that's really heavy, right? Because everything that I do, everything magicians do is for the eyes. It's visual. But if he can't see, I have to fool his mind. So right on the spot, I thought of something, and I did it, and I'm going to show that to you right now. So uh, can I use you for this? Do you mind? Yes. All right, so assuming that you weren't able to see, I couldn't say pick a card because you wouldn't be able to see which one you picked. And I couldn't even say to you, here, take this deck of cards and take any one out you want because even if you could feel it, you couldn't see which one that you got. So I have a perfect way of doing this. You write it left-handed. Left-handed. So hold out your right hand, put your other hand on top, you have 52 possibilities between your hands. In a moment, I want you to think of one, not yet. I want you to do it like this. First, think of the number. You got a number? Yes. And then think of the suit. So now you can think of them together or separately. You got it? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Ben. Ben. We got a perfect situation. Mm -hmm. Ben is thinking of a card. He didn't have to say it. He didn't have to pick it. He didn't have to reach into a deck. But we have a problem. We got 50, 60 people watching. Only Ben knows what the card is. All of you need to know what the card is or I can't fool your mind. So here's what I'll do. I'll blindfold myself and I'll turn away. And when I do, everybody stare at Ben's hands. I've got a way of coding the card in his mind to all of you where he doesn't have to say a word. Here's how it's going to work. When I turn away, Ben, I want you to deal the value of your card into a pile face down on the table as quietly as you can. So if you thought of three, you'd just do one, two, three, very quietly. And then to destroy the evidence, put the deck on top. If all of you watch, you'll know the value of the card, but I won't. Go ahead. Audience will tell me when Ben is done. Ben's done. All right. All of you know the value of the card, but you need to know the suit. So Ben, pick up the cards. I'll turn away again. If you're thinking of clubs, deal one card face down, deck on top. If you're thinking of hearts, deal two, deck on top. Spades would be three, diamonds would be four. Audience will tell me when he's done. Done. Perfect. Think of this situation. All of you know what card Ben thought of, and he didn't have to say a word. It was just in his mind, and now it's in all of your minds, everybody except for me. And the question becomes, how can I find a card for someone's mind? And I'll tell you how. I'm going to do it by feel. I'm going to do it by feeling for the one that feels like yours. Like this. Something right here feels different. Ben, you didn't leave, did you? I'm still here. In a loud, clear voice, yes or no, did you think of the seven of spades? Yes. <laughs> Is this the seven of spades? But you see, that's a trick for your eyes. And this is a trick for your mind. There is no seven of spades. Truly no seven of spades. Take a look at the cards. You can take a look. Look through them, yeah, take a look.